Today we're going to show you how to put together the model 1952 double ring bar stool. Now, when you get the bar stool, it's going to come without the glides on it. The first thing I recommend is you put your glides on because you'll protect your floors depending on the surface you're doing it on. So just go ahead, first thing, grab the glides, cover up all these legs. The glides are just the great parts. Next, just put the legs on top of each other. Now, the first thing I would do is put the small ring on. When you put the small ring on, first, it alleviates any tension that you would have if you had this big ring on here at the bottom first. And you'd be filling around with two hands, and that, that would cause an issue. Take this, and just, you're going to take your inch and a half screw to do just put a small ring. Put all your screws in first and then tighten them all up. Put on your big ring. Take your inch and three quarter bolt. Take your lock nut. Lock nut goes on the inside. This is your swivel. Make sure that your swivel is in this star pattern. If it's not in this star pattern, you'll never get your legs attached to your seat. Put that on top. Take your inch and a quarter bolts and just drop them in. Now when you put on your seat, it's easier to take your seat cushion, flip it upside down, and put it down. Take your bar stool and just put it on top. You should only have four screws left, which are your one inch screws. Start putting these in. Remember, put them all in first and then you tighten them. done. What I learned from building this bar stool was to put the small ring on first and flex the legs. Get the tension to where you need it, then put the large ring on and flex the legs to get the tension where it's needed. That will save you about five minutes off your build and a lot of frustration. And then depending if you're using power tools or not, the whole build should take you about five to 15 minutes. And if you're doing more than one bar stool, each one after that is gonna just be faster. 